Apple showed off iOS 26 on stage, but what they didn't show you is how all these updates actually fit together. Instead of a random list of features, I'm going to break it down category by category. Privacy, productivity, design, and more. That way, you'll see exactly where your iPhone just got better. Let's start with a big one, the UI changes. When I first tested iOS 26, I actually got confused. Menus I relied on had shifted, and options I knew by heart seemed to disappear. For a moment, I thought I was missing something. Then it hit me. Apple didn't just bring a fresh liquid glass design. They quietly reshuffled parts of the interface in ways that can throw you off at first. So here's the deal. I'll show you what's changed, where things moved, and the hidden details Apple slipped in. The familiar done or add button has been collapsed into a check mark across the system. Look closely at the corner. That's where it hides now. Even the search bar moved. Instead of the top, it now lives at the bottom in almost every app, including settings. Watch how it pops up down here. Add new reminder isn't written out anymore. It's just a plus sign. See that little plus symbol? That's all you get. You'll also notice a new filter icon. It now shows up in the phone app and messages, just like in mail. And in photos, the old two arrow sorting button has been replaced by that same filter icon. Even the placement of new note and new message buttons has shifted. They now sit at the bottom of the screen. And one more thing, the contextual text menu. Before, when you highlighted text, you saw a flat horizontal strip with copy, paste, lookup. Now it's a vertical toolbar with both icons and labels. And Apple added brand new options like spell and speak. Scroll through it and you'll find all the same actions, plus a few surprises. Here's something else Apple quietly added in iOS 26 that actually fixes one of the most annoying things, for getting missed calls. In the phone app under recent, swipe left on a missed call or even any contact name in this list. See that? Alongside delete, you'll now spot a new callback reminder option. Tap it and you can pick from presets like in one hour, tonight or tomorrow, and a reminder gets created automatically. And while we're talking about calls, the recording feature has been moved. When you're in an active call, look up at the top. That old record button isn't there anymore. Instead, you'll see a more menu with three dots. Tap those dots and now you'll find extra actions. Add people for a merge call, add contact card and record call if it's supported in your region. All neatly grouped into one spot. Spam calls and mystery texts used to be the worst part of my day. iOS 26 adds a few privacy tools that actually fix that. Let me show you the first two I enabled. First is call screening. iOS 26 can screen unknown callers and ask them to state their name and reason before your phone ever rings. Charges may apply from your carrier. You'll see a short transcript so you decide if the call is worth answering. To set it up, open settings, scroll down to apps, then tap phone. You'll see an option for screen incoming calls. Toggle it on and now unknown callers have to announce themselves before you pick up. Next is spam protection for texts. Messages got its own little spam triage in iOS 26 with a dedicated spam senders. Open settings, scroll to apps, then tap messages. You'll see message filtering with a switch for filter unknown senders. Turn it on. And now unknown numbers are filtered automatically. When you open the messages app, look to the upper left. You'll see filters. Tap it and you can now switch between messages, unknown senders, and you will have the option to mark as unknown or delete the message. Spam, recently deleted, and even unread. And here's the smart part. Important texts like one-time passwords still pop into your main inbox for a short time so you don't miss them. Apple's built-in passwords app doesn't receive any radical new features in iOS 26 but it comes with one extremely handy addition, password history. So if you change a stored password, the passwords app will keep a record of it. 
This can prove incredibly helpful when reverting to an old login or for troubleshooting. In iOS 18 and earlier versions, the default iPhone keyboard can automatically show one-time passwords, received via messages or mail for quick autofill. iOS 26 enhances the feature further by introducing support for third-party apps. For example, if you receive an OTP in WhatsApp, the keyboard app can still pull and show that information. It can even pull OTPs from the Gmail app Productivity buffs, notes and files just got a major upgrade. Ever wish you could export notes cleanly for sharing or importing elsewhere? Now you can export your notes as markdown files. Perfect for preserving formatting like headers and lists. And typing is smoother with a new formatting toolbar right above the keyboard for quick access to styles. Plus, ticking off checklist items is oddly satisfying now with a cute animated check mark every time you complete a task. In the Files app, navigating just got easier. You can quickly peek inside folders without opening them fully. Just tap the arrow next to any folder, and voila, the contents drop down like a mini file explorer, saving you time digging through nested folders. Messaging is smoother with partial text selection. You can highlight exactly the words you want from a message bubble instead of copying the whole thing. Natural language search makes finding chats easier. Call logs now filter by missed, voicemail, or spam with a tap. And if you're not a fan of the new phone layout, switch back instantly to the classic view with a tap. If you run dual SIMs, iOS 26 cleverly triggers focus modes based on which SIM is active, helping you keep work and personal life separate without lifting a finger. Waking up is more customizable than ever. The Clock app finally lets you pick a snooze time anywhere between 1 and 15 minutes. No more default 9-minute nags. The new Alarm UI is bold and easy to tap, even when half asleep. Thanks to Alarm Kit, apps outside Apple's own can now reliably ring alarms, even if your phone is on silent or in focus mode. Audio control gets a big upgrade. If you've been annoyed by your audio suddenly switching from your AirPods to your car speakers, just toggle on Keep Audio with Headphones in your settings, and your music or calls stay locked to your earbuds until you want to change. Plus, see your AirPods battery in real time with percentages and get smart charging tips. Want an easy way to craft custom ringtones? Forget GarageBand or third-party apps. Just find your favorite MP3 or M4A in the Files app. Long press it, hit share, and tap. Use as ringtone. Keep it under 30 seconds, and you have a brand new ringtone ready to go. Battery life is always a hot topic. Now, every time you plug your phone in, your lock screen shows you how long it'll take to reach 80% charge, which is the healthiest spot for your battery's longevity. And if you're using a slow charger, your iPhone politely tells you that too, so you're always in the know. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro or newer, be sure to switch on adaptive power mode under your battery settings. This smart AI-driven feature dynamically adjusts your screen brightness and slows down the chip speed during heavy use to stretch your battery life without you having to worry about it. Running out of space during software updates? No worries iOS 26 can temporarily free storage by offloading some Apple intelligence data. Think Siri learning files or cache databases to make room for the update. Once the update finishes, everything seamlessly restores itself. This smart feature means no more deleting your favorite apps or photos just to upgrade your system. Screenshot lovers have great news. iOS 26 brings back the magnifier tool. After you capture your screen, you can zoom in, resize, and tweak the stroke color and thickness while annotating, making it perfect to highlight details. If you prefer those classic floating screenshot previews, head to Settings, then General. Then go to Screen Capture and toggle off full screen previews. Your thumbnails will pop up again at the bottom for quick edits or sharing. Want even richer, deeper captures? There's an HDR screenshot option for vibrant, high-efficiency images right in that same settings menu.